So today we're going to be looking at the evolution of the advanced suit all the way from its concept stages which is what you see here to the final version that we have or the latest version that is in Marvel Spider-Man 2 which is the advanced suit 2.0 and trust me the advanced suit had a lot of changes throughout the years like the concept was before 2016 and it's going to be awesome to have a look at all these suits so let's get into it so as you can see with the concept art suit the colors were a little bit different and the actual logo itself here wasn't originally going to be white it was going to be a black logo and the very interesting thing about that is is how much different it makes the suit look overall like the suit kind of stands out way less with the black logo and i know a lot of people actually liked it too the the black logo but for me personally looking at it now it's not really the best, but it is really cool to have this as an option in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered as a mod, and I'm sure that this is going to be brought into Marvel Spider-Man 2 on PC when that officially comes out as the uh, port itself. But the suit, I actually always liked the original advanced suit a lot. I, the only thing I didn't really like about this one in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered was how orangey it was but here the color actually looks really really nice when it comes to the reds the blue seems to be a bit more dark with the concept art mod but you know it doesn't look too bad overall so I, i'm a huge fan of this one still even with the black logo now the next one here if you remember this you're an og when it comes to marvel spider-man uh, and this is the E3 2017 suit and e E3 in 2017 was when we got our first look at some gameplay and I think it was the first segment uh, where he fights Martin Lee and this was a really cool suit actually like if you look here you could see how different the texture is so we'll go to the regular suit right so this is the one we got in game and this is the E3 version and it is crazy to see the differences when it comes to this like even the lenses look a little bit different just a little tiny bit different but the overall textures have been crazy different when it comes to the E3 suit like very very different and you can tell it was a bit earlier on but I'm a fan of the texture like I was saying the texture when it comes to the actual um you know suit I really really like so this is a really nice uh, suit now again the only thing I don't like is the actual colors here uh, very very like it's not really too red you know at all and the blue here as well is very muted the colors feel very very muted when it comes to the suit but at the same time I don't really mind it um, I like there's a lot going on with this suit like looking at like looking back at it now as well There's a lot of lines when it comes to the suit uh, this belt. I mm, I don't know what was going on there like it works But looking at it now, it's a bit like jarring as well And then you could see the way it kind of like folds over but yeah, like I was saying the texture is fantastic like I love the Pattern on this suit seriously. I really really do like look at it now like these kind of like funny little shapes here. <laughs> I was trying to count the number. It's like it's like six, I think. It's like a hexagon. Um, but you know, it's not too bad. Like even on the spider emblem, if you actually look at it, like here, it's kind of like these little squares. And then you look at it here, and this spider emblem is very, very more like it's much more textured. And I guess it's to show. That it's this bit here is like armored i suppose and it stands out as a white logo to take damage uh because it could it's like more fortified than the rest of the suit but the whole point of the advanced suit is to be more advanced than the rest of peter's uh, suits and then we're going to look at the back of this suit as well so we'll uh look at it like this and it really shows you how smooth it looks here in e3 2017 versus the other one this one here looks a bit more armored but E3 just looks more smooth and I really do prefer, like I said, that texture as well. And it's funny seeing the difference on the blue bit as well because here it's like more smooth, it looks like. And then here it just looks more armored and more like, yeah, it looks more resilient, you know, like to damage and stuff. Like if he, if he took a fall on his back from this, this looks much more durable than this. This looks like it would hurt versus this, it looks like it would like absorb a lot of the impact here. 
So that is quite interesting to look at and I really really like that we were able to get this as a mod because this was like found in the actual files and then all the textures and everything were kind of like ported over as a mod which is really cool like I said to be able to have and play as this version of the advanced suit and as we're going through these let me know in the comments which version of the advanced suit is your favorite because now we have the one that we actually got and I'm a huge fan of the lenses on this suit. I actually really like them a ton. And it's pretty crazy to see these lenses disappear with the 2.0 uh, suit. But I really do like the way it looks. Okay, the only thing, I, like I said, I don't really like about this advanced suit is literally the colors. I feel like the colors should have been more red. There's actually mods out there that make the suit more colorful, make it like more accurate, more red, and like the blues are more blue. But at the same time, it kind of worked for the PS4 version of the game. Like I, you know, I was hoping that they would change it for the remaster, but for the PS4, like the PS4 game is really beautiful for being a PS4 title. Like that, like this game pushed the PS4 to its limit when it came to that, um, and that's why kind of the web swing was slow, because it was very limited by the actual hardware, but at the same time, it just, it was so damn good, right? So again, you can see this here, you can see the wonderful textures, um, and it does look very, very nice. Now, <laughs> this, like, this belt here is kind of weird, and these patches are, like, really not needed, if you really think about it, like, this would have been Cool if it like connected there and went all the way down and we had some sort of like if we had a bit more red down here at the boots because we really don't like there's a lot of segmented parts here like that shouldn't have been at least for this part here but at the same time I'm no like spider-man suit master kind of like thing so you know let's keep moving to the next advanced suit which is the actual negative suit and this is a what if suit pretty much um if martin lee managed to corrupt peter parker's uh well peter parker spider-man right so the advanced suit would turn kind of negative and we've had like many negative suits in different spider-man games alternate costumes and this one was pretty pretty cool and a breath of fresh air to see and of course it made uh sense narrative wise for this game and i actually think it looks cool i haven't really used it too much but the fact that we had suit powers that he could like unleash a shockwave with this suit it was really cool like the suit powers when it came to spider-man ps4 it was really really damn awesome to see look you can even see the selfie here it looks very very nice still this game is still awesome even in 2024 uh for sure the mods definitely help keep this game alive but i love the glowing webs here as well um, and I just love the way this suit looks in the negative style. I haven't really used this too much at all, but I can definitely appreciate the look of this for what it is. Now let's move on to the Antioch suit, and I do count this as an advanced suit because it's pretty much just using the, like, you know, Dark Arc tech of his arms to armor himself up. Now obviously the lenses here are very, very different, but the suit does follow the blueprint somewhat of the uh, advanced suit especially with the logo here it really really does it's just a bit more extended but it follows that same principle which I really like and I, I do think it's a cool way to really acknowledge this suit because you got to understand when he built this suit he was like heavily battle damaged lots of broken bones uh, mentally devastated and then during the final battle he found out that Doc Ock knew who he was this whole time which really really hurt our boy but i really like this suit i genuinely do um i love the i love the logo like it's kind of crazy how fast he made this considering all the details especially with the emblems here and i feel like this needed to be all 3d printed and carefully crafted but i love like these little uh connector bits here like i'm just a sucker for little details like this when it comes to the suit i love the little yellow bits here as well I mean, it's just such a nice suit, I, and like the fact that it's back in Marvel Spider-Man 2 with suit styles is quite awesome to see. The lenses are really, really nice. Um, like I said, I'm just a sucker of this version of the quote advanced suit. I know 100% it's not like your traditional advanced suit, it's just called the Antioch suit. But 
it really is like a more advanced version of like this suit at the same time it's just extra armor on top of it because we saw that he still has the suit under so that is pretty cool and then we come to the armored advanced suit and like <laughs> this honestly like it'd be crazy if this is the antioch suit that we actually got so this is an advanced suit that's even more armored right like you can see the bits and pieces of the armored suit here or the advanced suit but it's mainly like just the logo itself right like when you actually look at the armored bits this is also like a bit that stands out it's it's quite crazy over design like there's a ton going on here but i feel like the belt on this one is a bit better than the original advanced suit because it doesn't have that weird bit that goes down under the actual long part of the uh, bit up here right and then it still has the patches there but that's okay but there's genuinely like so much going on with this suit there's so many different patterns there's so many different textures like different colors like you've got black white red um which is which works but then there's also some gray in it like there's a lot going on now let's look at the actual uh lenses so the lenses are still kind of very similar to the advanced suit which i really really like and the fact that it's red makes it a bit contrasty but there is so much going on here man it is actually crazy to look at this suit here like let's let's have a look at the orbit so we'll go to the back now the logo is the same as always when it comes to the advanced suit it is the traditional advanced suit i wonder if it's actually a little bit different uh i guess the shape is a tad bit different but not too different you know and yeah you've got all these like crazy bits here you've got like these knee pads and does he have elbow pads yeah he kind of kind of does I mean, I, I, you know, when it first came out, I was very conflicted about this, but I don't really mind this looking at it now, but it is, it is funny how it came out of nowhere. So I do, I do wonder if this was some like sort of unused like concept or something along the lines of that for, um, Marvel Spider-Man, uh, PS4, cause this came out during the remaster, right? Like uh, some free DLC suits, but at the same time, I, I, I don't mind it at all. And then we've got the final version of the advanced suit which is the 2.0 and or advanced suit 2 and i really like this one now the lenses are quite different which is a bit you know it's a bit difficulty of getting used to like this is the only really difference that i i was a bit conflicted on uh because i really like the lenses of this suit i really really do but at the same time it's not bad at all you know then we've got the textures here are very very different more hd of course because the power of the ps5 right this is a purely ps5 title for marvel spider-man 2 so no ps4 to hold it back so they could really go crazy in all the textures and it's pretty crazy to see this isn't a mod when it comes to this actual suit this was just a model that was imported from the ps5 version of marvel spider-man 2 into remastered and these are the perfect colors for this suit. Like, they are very, very rich, vibrant reds. And the blue isn't too bad either. Um, and I really like the belt on this one so much more than the actual um, advanced suit itself. Because look at how messy this belt is and the colors and a lot of the segmented parts versus how simple this is. And there's a lot of white here as well to balance out that emblem, which I really do like. Now, the segmented parts here on the shoulders are kind of funny looking, but they do work, right? Like, they do have a purpose, they work, and it looks quite nice. And then you come to the back, and it's still the same logo, pretty much, just a bit more refined and nice looking. And you can see the textures here as well are quite crazy, very armored, and damn, our boy has some cake. <laughs> But yeah, it does look very very nice. Now these blue bits here are kind of funny because when you look at it here It looks like he kind of Maybe peed himself or something. It, it is actually pretty funny though Like seeing that part because I do wonder why do we need these dark parts on the advanced suit? I feel like that like the advanced suit to point out. I feel like we don't need that. It just adds extra like things I guess so I don't know but personally if this was designed by me I wouldn't have the little darker bits here or anything like that um, I just keep it to one color and then the only other weird thing is he got a bit of an upgrade with his shoes here right but at the same time it's still not like the type of boots that we would have liked like you see this dark like 
kind of darker blue. I wish the red kind of went up that. I feel like that would really look nice, actually, because it would add extra red. Because it's very blue heavy at the bottom. Like, there is so much blue going on here. We could use way more red to kind of balance that out. But, you know, the suit itself, I absolutely love. It looks fantastic in the game. And I can't wait to see Advanced Suit 3.0 in Marvel Spider-Man 3. And this has been the evolution of the Advanced Suit from the concept art here that you see all the way to Marvel Spider-Man 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to watch another video on the channel here. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. And have a wonderful day. Peace.